it had the, the supply had been created. <laughs> let, let me explain this thing to you. You know, because the thing, what if we know that God is a person? A person is the one who has a mind, will, and emotions. God has feelings. You know, when you pray, remember that. You're not talking to a, a computer. You're not a robot. Even though you're praised by principles, he has feelings. God can get irritated. It's called grieved. Same thing. Amen? Now, he doesn't allow you to rule him, but you can... <laughs> Let me go to the I want to... I give you scripture. Eh? How many people remember? I used to say Hezekiah fellow. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't Hezekiah, it was one of the other kings. <laughs> it was when he was talking about it was Isaiah again. It was when they were talking about, you know, Jesus is going to become, you know, be born of a virgin. So Jesus said, uh, the, God sent the prophet to the guy and said, you know, uh, you know, a virgin will conceive and all of this and all that, you know. And the guy said, you know, then God said, ask a sign. Either in heaven or in earth. Then the guy said, I will not ask. Then God said, Oh, house of David. <laughs> he said, How long will you continue <laughs> you know, <laughs> to irritate me? I'm using modern language. But it's the same thing. You know, there are things that, you know, that's why you get to know a person. That's why you need to fellowship with him. You know, God said, No, 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 no. When you come and pray, don't be like the unbeliever. Don't be like the heathen. They think that it is by their much vain repetition. You know what? They are trying to move God by emotion. That's why they say the same thing. Oh, no, no. A shan for me. Oh, no. I'm a bate, me, Jay. Oh, no, I'm a bate, I'm a bate. Oh, no. You know, you know, it's all, no faith. All emotion. And they think they can move God by that emotional discourse. No. No, no, no. Then they will say the same thing about 20 times. In different ways, but it's the same thing. They have not said anything different. You know, God do this. And God do that. Oluwa sokalewa. Oluwa shilei. Oluwa shilei. Baba mi mo emava wini. Kideko kineko. That thing, <laughs> mommy is laughing. <laughs> that thing, you know, if you are on God's side, see that's the human side, you will understand what I'm talking about. After a while, it begins to irritate you. What is wrong with these people? Do they think I am a stupid God? Don't I know what you need? Do you think that is this emotional diatribe that's going to move me? That's not like that. Don't be like the heathen. And a lot of Christians, it's an outer court mode prayer. That's why as you enter into the holy place and the most holy place, prayer becomes structured. You're not allowed that nonsense. Amen? You pray Pauline prayer, you pray life scripture, you pray in spirit. It's structured. You're not allowed all that. But when you're in the outer court, that's where you can go to town, man. <laughs> just roam around. There's plenty of space. And they just say anything you like to God. As you see, very good. And a lot of those prayers, God in his mercy answers, you know, some of them with his, by sovereign grace and mercy, which he does even for people who are not even born again and everything. You know, but it, it, it bothers, it, 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 if, you, if you keep on at it, you know, after a while, it begins to irritate God, you know, and that's why I said, don't be like, he said it deliberately. So, mm -mm, when you come here, don't be like the heathen who think for their vain, there's a repetition that is not vain when you saying things in line with the word. Like when we're praying from life scriptures and we're going one scripture after the other, we're receiving life. But there's a repetition that is vain. Just say the same thing, no faith, all emotion. All human feeling and emotion, and we think that if we can get emotional enough, somehow we'll move God. Like an angel this story, I've never forgotten it. I preached it many years ago. I don't know if I preached it recently. He went to preach for one pastor. 
you know, somewhere in Texas or somewhere. And, uh, you know, and he was trying to, Brother was trying to prepare and pray and, you know, prepare for his message and everything. And this pastor or whoever, you know, they were in the church, you know, where they were praying. And Gahim was trying to pray in tongues and meditation, get revelation. And this guy was just going on, you know, carrying on. Oh, God, move. God, move. Move, God, God, move, move, God, God, move, move, God. <laughs> Hello? Sound familiar? <laughs> That's why you stick with the word, amen? Oh, you start praying nonsense. And God, move. Move, God. Move, God. I, he, said, he, said, he got so irritated. Even can I hate him, got irritated. He said, I felt like getting up and boxing his ears. You know, he said, God, move. He said, at the end of the day, and that's the thing about, you know, Bible says through much speaking, you know, sin cannot be avoided. That's why you should, have, you should avoid God speaking. You know, in the, in the multitude of words, they want to not say. So, I, you know, he got confused, and at the end of the day, God, move by any hook or crook. <laughs> that true story. God, he said. God doesn't move by hooks or crooks. Jesus is the way and the Holy Ghost is the how. Give the Lord a clap offering. God doesn't move by hooks or crooks. You want to know how God moves? The way is the word, the Holy Ghost is the how. You pray in line with the word and you pray by the spirit, you will get your move. No, God move. God move. Move God, God move. Move God, God move. Move God, God move by any hook or crook. You know, nothing has changed. People still pray like that today. And get all. God said, mm -mm. that kind of thing gets on my nerves get on my emotions as is it grieve not the holy spirit same thing he said in um, the old testament he said oh house of david he said you tire men will you also tire me you weary men he said, will you also weary me that's how god is so don't don't no don't let's don't even go there folks praise the lord amen that's why you can't really have a substantial prayer life if you don't know the word. Otherwise, many times you just be praying totally off course. That's why the knowledge of the word is, 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 is fundamental to a successful prayer life. Because any prayer not in line with the word is not going to be answered. Stop wasting your time. So you need to know what the Bible says about a matter. Then, after you even know what the word is, you have to now know the will of God. And that's why praying in the spirit comes in. That's why God gave us tongues. So we don't, we don't, we, we don't spend the time wasting our time. That's why in this place, you see us, we pray structured prayers. We don't give room for all this God move by hook or crook. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. So Jesus tells us, he said, don't be like that. Don't, 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 don't get all emotional and everything. You know, learn to find out what is the will of God from the word. He said, God knows what you need before you ask. The question is, just before I go into this, what we call the Lord's Prayer, if, now, this is a sensible question. It's a meditation now. It's how you meditate in the word. I always ask intelligent questions in the Bible. If God knows what I need before I ask, why hasn't he supplied it? Hello? Didn't he say so? He said, your father knows what things you need before you ask them. So, 